चैप्टर 19 अब्दुल इन द गार्डन अब्दुल इन द गार्डन इट वाज अ हॉलिडे अब्दुल वाज हेल्पिंग हिज अब्बू इन द गार्डन अब्बू वाज क्लियरिंग द ड्राइड लीव्स एंड ग्रास फ्रॉम द वेजिटेबल्स बेड्स अब्दुल स्टार्टेड टू पुल आउट द ग्रास फ्रॉम वन ऑफ द बेड्स he found that it was not easy to pull out even the small grass his hands became bred by the effort in trying to pull out grass abdul knocked down a stick that was supporting the pea plant climber the delicate stem of the pea plant broke abu said why are you pulling the grass the roots of the grass are strong you will have to dig them out abdul carefully dug out the plant he then saw that the roots of the grass plant were longer and much more spread out than the part of the plant above the ground the stick which was stuck in the ground fell very easily it was difficult to pull out a small grass why do all plants have roots look at some plants and trees around you imagine how deep and spread out the roots of these are after 3 days abdul saw that one broken part of the pea plant had dried guess which part would have dried up why Abu remembered that he had to send some radish mooli home. He started to pull the radish out of the soil. Abdul wondered whether these were also roots. Only a few radish were pulled when there was suddenly a strong wind and rain. Both of them picked up the radish and ran. They had just reached home when a branch of the neem tree in the courtyard broke and fell in fact abu was lucky to have missed by only a few inches despite the strong wind and tree remained firm on the ground they both sat down to have tea with ammi abu said to abdul the plants were getting dry now that it has rained we will not have to water the plants we can now sit and play ludo why do you think the neem tree did not fall despite the strong wind on putting water in the soil where the plants are growing the dropping leaves become fresh again how what do you feel do all plants need water which of the plants around you need regular watering comment this what will happen if nobody gives water to these plants abdul realized that he never watered the huge neem tree where did it get its water from he thought which of the plants around you do not need watering where do they get water from make two guesses comment this abdul wondered whether radish was a root Why did he think so? Look at the picture below and find out which of these vegetables are roots. Comment this. Abdul has more questions. Nowadays Abdul keeps thinking about all kinds of plants that he sees. Abdul saw a plant growing out of a wall in school. He wondered how deep must the roots of his plant of these plants be growing how do the roots get water how big will this plant grow what will happen to the wall can you give the name of the plant in the picture comment this for the teacher the concept that roots absorb water is difficult for children at this age 
to understand it is however important to give them opportunities to think about this relationship different children may be at different levels of thinking it is important to give space to their ideas have you ever seen a plant growing from a crack in a wall where was it did you have any questions when you saw it what were some of your questions ask elders and find the answers find out the name of the plant you saw abdul saw a huge tree that had fallen on the roadside he remembered the nim tree in his courtyard he could see some of its broken roots abdul thought would someone have uprooted such a big tree or would it have fallen on its own how old would this tree be abdul on seeing a tree surrounded by cemented ground thought that how will it get rain water comment this let us talk which are the oldest trees in your area find out from your elders how old the trees are name animals who live on this tree have you ever seen any big tree that had fallen down what did you think when you saw it comment this unusual roots have you swung from a banyan tree what did you hold to swing what looks like the hanging branches are actually the roots of the tree this grow down from the branches until they reach the ground these roots are like pillar that provide strong support to the tree the banyan tree also has roots under the ground just as other trees have there is a law against cutting trees there was a tree growing close to a lamp post the tree was so full of leaves that the light of the bulbs was blocked people felt that the branches of the tree needed to be trimmed to be trimmed before they do this they need to take written permission from the government office have you seen any tree which has roots growing from its branches comment this let us do this get together with three to four of your friends from the list of things given decide who will bring which thing a transparent glass tumbler or bottle with a wide mouth rubber band or thread some seeds of moong wheat bajra mustard chana chickpeas or rajma red beans and a wad of cotton wool each group will work with only one kind of seeds soak a few seeds 5 to 6 overnight in a bowl full of water take the wad of cotton wool and wet it put it on the mouth of the tumbler tie it tight to the mouth with rubber band or thread remove soaked seeds from water and place them on the cotton wool you will have to take care that the cotton wool does not dry absorb the changes that take place for the next 10 to 12 days did you observe the settling come out of the seeds draw the picture of the settling as it looks on the fourth and the eighth day day 4 day 8 draw it write in your notebook what difference did you observe in the seeds after soaking compare with dry seeds and write what do you think would happen if the cotton wool had been left dry in which direction did the roots grow and the stem how big did the plant grow in the cotton wool did small plants come out from all the seeds comment this what is the color of the roots Did you see any hair on the roots? Try and pull out one little plant from the cotton wool. Why do you able to pull it out? Why? Did you see how the roots grip the cotton wool? Do you think that the roots hold the soil in the same way? Also look at the plants grown by your friends.
కాబట్టి డూ యు నో డెజర్ట్ ఓక్ ఇస్ ద ట్రీ దాట్ ఇస్ ఫౌండ్ ఇన్ ఆస్ట్రేలియా ఇట్ గ్రోస్ ఆల్మోస్ట్ యాస్ టాల్ యాజ్ యువర్ క్లాస్ రూమ్ వల్ ఇట్ హ్యాస్ వెరీ ఫ్యూ లిప్స్ గెస్ హౌ డీప్ ఇట్స్ రూట్స్ గో డౌన్ imagine the length of about 30 such trees laid down in a line end to end one after another that is how long the roots of this tree can be these roots go deep into the ground till they reach water this water is stored in the tree trunk local people knew about this when there was no water in the desert the local people used to put a thin pipe into the trunk of the tree to drink this water what grows arif and rupali did the above activity they saw the seedlings grow when asked what are the things that grow they had be very different ideas about things that grow Arif made a list of following leaves munna bird puppy nails fish Rupali slaves the heart moon tree eye hair watermelon mosquito crow what do you think which of these things listed by Arif and Rupali grow why does not you make your own list of things that grow you list can include the names of the things that are in Arif's and Rupali's list comment this think about yourself in what ways have you changed over a period of time have you grown in any way for example has your height increased how much taller have you grown in the last one year imagine that you had never cut your nails draw a picture of your fingers in the notebook to show how they would have looked what other part of your body some people cut it regularly keeps growing comment this for the teacher encourage children to plant trees in the school or colony on the world environmental day or any occasion ask them to take care of their plants comment this